Welcome back to C Programming Tutorials. This tutorial is the continuation of the previous tutorial where we were trying to write a program uh, to average, to compute the average age of a class with six students. So what we have done so far is basically um, uh, basically input the values of those each of the, uh, of the age of each of the students and then uh, adding it, storing it into a variable called sum. Okay, and this is how you do it. When you have to keep adding on some, uh, let, let me, sh let's see. When you have to keep adding, sorry, uh, keep adding, so this is how the array looks like right now. Okay. Age. Okay. Zero, one, two, three four five right right so we have what you have to do is to basically this is sum okay it's totally different variable than this age okay we are going to define it here we haven't done it so far what we are going to do is we are going to start with zero okay now suppose these are the values here nine ten nine okay so we first thing we do is we basically take this the value of sum which is zero and add it to the first element which is the zeroth element which is the element number zero of of this array and put this in here right so what is the n answer nine then we take this one and add whatever the value is here and add this number here which is ten so ten plus nine is nineteen and so on. So what we are doing is at any point we are basically taking the value of sum adding the age of the student that we are currently working with which is basically represented by the variable count this variable here which we need to declare it by the way here right so we keep on putting this accessing this age this element and we keep on moving count from 0 to five and adding the current value and storing it back into into the sum here right now okay so that again it can be used for the next value next addition next addition next addition and next addition that way we will have the sum of all these numbers stored in here when we are done with it when we are done with this for loop okay so let's see so first thing let's declare those variables integer sum integer uh, count okay now remember sum needs to be initialized to zero so that in the beginning when the, we put in the very first number we get the that number as the answer okay if we don't initialize sum to zero it will use whatever the garbage value is going to be in there. Remember, we are talking about memory. There is no guarantee what the value is going to be until you specify what the value is going to be of any variable. Okay? So it is very important before you use any variable, you initialize it. So we initialize sum to zero. Why do not we initialize count? Because we are initializing count before we use it right here and right here. Okay? And why did we not initialize age? because we are initializing age by storing the value that we get from the user here so we are kind of initializing except we are not initializing it with the static value okay so at this point where my cursor is when we exit out of it the sum will have the sum of all those ages so what do we do we have to compute the average so average is equal to as you we all know sum divided by the total number of elements which is six okay so we divide it by 6. So let's declare, don't forget to declare average. So now we have the average age in the variable average. What do we do? We print the value of the average age. The average age of the class is percent %d. So the number will go here average there we go okay very simple let's see if this program works oh. ok 
Okay, press F9. And here we go. So enter age of a student 0. See how it substituted the value of count, which is 0, in here. Okay. So enter the age of a student 0. Let's say 9. So now next student, student 1, 10. Because this is in the loop. And every time when we go through this loop, the value of count is changing because of this count plus plus here. Count plus plus says increment the value of count by 1. So this count value is 0 first, then 1, then 2. So let's enter another student's age. And then 11. And then, uh, you know, 14. And then 12. Okay. Now see, we are done with all six of them. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. All six of them. It should not ask me any more. If it does, there is a problem. There is a bug in this program. Okay. So let's see. Good. It did not ask us any more. And then it computed the sum. And then it computed the average. And then it printed the average. So next thing we saw, we don't see how it computes. It computes in a fraction of a second. Vroom, it's done. So we don't see how it computes. The next thing we see is this message here. Only notice, only thing we are seeing is printf and whatever we enter as a result of scanf. Okay, so it says the average age of the class is 10. And if you have time, you can basically add all these numbers together and then divide it by 6. You will get 10. Now notice that, you know, you may not get exact 10. You may get fractions here. But why we are not getting fraction here? Because our average is defined as an integer, which means that no fractions, only integers. If we really needed fractions, what we would have we could have done is basically define this as a float. A float, as I said in the very beginning in one of the earliest tutorials, float is a data type, just like integer, except it's, it can store numbers as, you know, 2.1, for example. Okay? So if we declare it as float, and what else, other thing we will have to do is, if we declare f sum as floating point also, float is from floating point. Floating point means that the point can go from one place to another, which means it could be 2.14, or it could be 2... 21.3 or whatever you know that's that's why it's called float okay now the va way to print float now remember this average is not integer it was integer before so the way to print integers is using percent d the way to print float is using percent f so let's run this program and we'll see what what it does now oh okay there we go. So I'll real quick enter, because I'm running out of time. 2, 3, 6, 4, 3, 5, 3. And look at this. The average age of the class is 3.66667. See? Now it's printing it all in decimals. Because we declared average as float. So if you need the approximate age, you don't even have to do that. You just keep it as integer the way it was before, and you will get an approximate age. But it's not quite. It's not going to be quite approximate. It's basically, if in this particular example, it would have been a 3, not 4. Whereas here, the if you approximate and round off, it should be actually equal to 4, because it's closer to 4 rather than 3. But integer doesn't do that. If average is integer, the sum divided by 6 will result in the lower number, you know the floor of the result, which is 3.6667, the floor is 3. So it would have displayed 3. So it's going to be an advanced topic to, a little bit more advanced topic to basically handle all these situations. But, you know, for now, we, we've made our point. We learn how to basically access, how to declare an, a, uh, an array and how to access the elements. Thank you so much.